guys, it's Kaylee here. I have a knife review for you guys today on one of my favorite knives. This is called the Boss 2.0 by Mike Snowdy. Now before I go over the specs and talk about the knife, I just want to start off by saying that Mike Snowdy is by far one of my favorite knife makers. Um, he's on a whole different level than everybody else, and he makes some of the sickest stuff that I've ever seen. Um, he is super nice, he's humble, he's down to earth, and he is funny as hell, he really is. He should have his own TV show. Um, you know, come to think of it, I actually think that he was going to have his own reality show or be on TV or something like that. I'm not, I'm not sure quite what it was, but um, I don't know what ever came about it, but he should definitely be on TV because he's funny as hell. Um, and he's really, he's very straightforward. He tells it like it is, and he's extremely blunt and honest. And I think those are great qualities to have in a person. So, I mean, I have a ton of respect for him. And whether he knows it or not, he's been a huge influence on me. Um, for those of you that follow me on Facebook and follow my YouTube channel and watch my videos and stuff, you guys know that I actually started making my own custom knives like seven or eight months ago now. And he's been a huge influence on me, and I've learned a ton from um, from him just from watching his YouTube channels um, and watching his knife making tutorial videos and stuff alone. I've learned a ton. So, like I said, he makes a, a lot of really great knife making tutorial videos. He's got a great YouTube channel, and um, I've also learned a lot just from talking with him. Um, I've been really fortunate enough to actually, you know, get to speak with him a few times, and I really appreciated that because I know he's a super, super busy guy, as most knife makers are, um, but it was really cool for him, you know, to take the time out of his busy schedule to, to talk to me and give me some advice and tips and tricks and stuff like that, so I thought that was really cool. Um, but like I said, he's been a huge influence on me. Um, I have a ton of respect for him. I think he's an incredible knife maker, um, and he's an incredible person as well. So if you guys don't know who he is and you're living underneath a rock and you need to pause this video, go over, check him out check out his work, and uh, then you can come back and, and watch the rest of this video. But he's on Facebook, so you can look him up on Facebook. Go over, give him a like. If you want, tell him that Kayla sent you. Um, he's on Instagram. He actually just started an Instagram account like two months ago, I want to say, and he's got one of the best Instagrams. Um, he posts the coolest pictures and some great videos and stuff like that. Um, so you can you can add him on Instagram, and then also, of course, he's got his YouTube channel. So you can subscribe to him on YouTube and check out you know all of his videos and everything, and you really can learn a ton from him. So... Um, I think that's pretty much it, all I want to say, <laughs> so yeah, I got that off my chest. Um, we can uh, go over the specs and talk about the knife and stuff. So this is by far one of my favorite knives that I've ever owned. Not even just one of my favorite knives by Mike, but one of my favorite knives in general. Um, this thing is stupid, stupid sharp. So I mean, I can't even begin to tell you guys how sharp this thing is. It's crazy. I've had it for like eight or nine months now, and I really I should have should have done this review a long time ago. But things have been so hectic around here. But it's it's good because I I really have gotten full use out of this and I haven't had to sharpen it once. It's so insanely sharp and I really have been using this for so many different things. And I know that I say that about a lot of my knives and I say that in a lot of my reviews. Yeah, I've used this knife for so many different things. But the thing is, I I do. I really do. I use my knives for so many different things. It doesn't necessarily mean that they actually work well for that task and, you know, I let you guys know if I use it for a task and it doesn't hold up well, but this thing has exceeded my expectations and it has um, really blown me away. I'm so impressed with it and I've used it for so many different things and it has um, withheld every single task that I've put it through. And it's so cool because it's such a simple design but it's just so effective and it works so well. Um, but it really is, like I said, it's one of my favorite knives, and uh, it's stupid, stupid sharp. I really think that everybody should own one of these knives. Um, it, it really is an incredible knife. But anyways, enough ranting. <laughs> Let's get them nice and close and give you guys a good look, and we'll go over the specs. So the blade length is three and a half inches. And as you guys can see, it's got the two-tone blade, so you have the mirror finish, which is absolutely beautiful. I love that. And when I first got this, it, you should have seen how insanely shiny this was. It was it was so polished up. And obviously, I've used it for so many different things, and I've, I've used it a ton that, you know, it's kind of lost that shine a, a tiny bit. But it's still, as you guys can see, you can see the reflection in there of my phone. But yeah, it's still extremely polished up. And uh, of course, you got the Snowdy logo there with the, the money symbol. I love that. I love his logo. And it is chisel ground. And then you have the spear point style. And then the handle, I love the handle. Um, the handle's really, really cool. It's wrapped in resin and pregnant reflective um, 3M paracord. So, and it glows in the dark. And it, that's really cool. I love that. Um, I'll keep this next to... Uh, I, I usually always keep this right on my nightstand here next to my bed, and um, I'll wake up in the middle of the night and my handle will be glowing and stuff, so it's really cool. It's like my, my little uh, knife night light. <laughs> it's pretty neat, so I think that's really cool. And then, of course, you have a, a nice large lanyard hole 
So you can put a lanyard on there and it helps extend your grip a little bit. And then uh, he rounded out the spine, as you guys can see, which is really nice. And then he put some jimping on there. So I, the, the only thing that I wish um, was a little bit different is I wish the jimping was a little bit deeper, um, you know, a little more aggressive. But that's just because you guys know how much I, I love jimping on my knives. So, I mean, any jimping is better than no jimping. So I'm happy with that. But it's nice. It's comfortable. You get a nice secure grip. Um, let's see. And then one of the um, really cool qualities about this knife is the hole in the blade. So the hole actually allows you um, to add another fastening point to the knife. So you can um, use it for a bunch of different, or make it into a bunch of different um, variety of weapons and stuff, you know, including a spear. So I really, I want to make this into a, a spear and test it out and try, um, try it out and see how that holds up. So if I do, I'll definitely, I'll make another video for you guys and show you. But that's a cool quality that it has as well. So a bunch of uh, different cool things about this knife. So I love the glow-in-the-dark handle. Um, the hole in the blade is great. The mirror, the mirror finish is absolutely beautiful. I love that. And like I said, this thing is stupid, stupid sharp. So it's been holding an edge really well. And then the steel, where did I put it? Here we go. You got your certificate of authenticity that comes with each knife. And the steel is ATS-34 steel. And I'm not even going to lie or pretend like I know what kind of steel that is because I honestly am not familiar with it at all. Um, I should have done a little more research on it um, before I did the review, but... I really I don't know too much about it, so I, I can't give you guys my two cents about it, but I, I do know that it's been holding up really well, and uh, the edge has been holding up um, very well also. So, ATS-34 Steel. If you guys know anything about it, let me know. Um, I'm, I really should do some more research on it. But anyways, um, I think that's pretty much it. So you get your certificate of authenticity with each knife that you purchase. And another really, really cool thing that I love about my knife is it came with these awesome poker chips. So I got a whole bunch of them. These are just a couple of them. But as you guys can see, so you get your Snowdy Knives poker chips. Super cool. Because uh, Mike loves poker. <laughs> so I thought that was really cool as well. It's uh, a neat little, uh, neat little touch to it. So that was pretty cool. Now you can purchase um, your own Snowdy Boss 2.0 um, at AlterReefKnives.com. So here is the card, and that's where I got mine from. And you can contact Earl Coleman. And these retail for $99. So really, honestly, very fair price, extremely reasonable for what you get. You will not regret buying one of these knives. It is well worth the money. Um, like I said, one of my all-time favorite knives that I've ever owned. Now, these do not come with a sheath, so you're going to have to get um, a custom sheath made. Um, now, I got a custom sheath made from Phoenix Custom Kydex, and um, I got that from Michael Gibson. So you guys can contact him to get um, a custom sheath made as well. So, and he did a really good job making the sheath, as you guys can see. So you can contact him if you need a sheath at all. All the information is right there. And I think that is pretty much it. I think I went over everything. So please, guys, go over, um, look up Mike on Facebook, Instagram, uh, YouTube. You can find him just about anywhere. And then also, please go over to um, Phoenix Custom Kydex and give them a like as well. They're on Facebook. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching, guys. And I hope you enjoyed the review. I hope you guys pick one of these up. Well worth the money, definitely. So I guess that's it. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys soon, all right? Take care.